Well, I've just spied a Hildy, but I've also spied something that could be really special. Hildy first. It's a bit worn, but it looks like it's all there. Ho oh, ho ho ho! Yep, just needs that cap pulling off. Perfect, it's a bit warm, but oh, but now this really special find. That's assuming it's even all there. Look at that keel. Oh, Pleurocerus keel. Oh, I think it's not there. <laughs> Are we ready? One, two, three. Oh, it's a partial. That would have been a beastie though, wouldn't it? Wow. Look at that. Never mind. We've got an Ildi out of it. Alright, so we've carried on a bit further down the Pleiens back in, or Pleiens back in. Hit this one. And I also noticed this one over here. So that might be worth a tap because there's signs of some ammonites in that. Quite a lot of little ammonites, quite clustered. So I may just give that a little bash as well. Yeah, I gave this a bash. And. Hey! Look at that. Some lovely little ammonites in there. I'm assuming they are the little pleuros or Amalfius subnosus. Yeah, they're nice. Happy with those. So I might just split this down and have a little play with that one as well, in case there's out inside that. Let's uh, let's film. So far. Partial Pleurocerus just there. Alright, so we've got Pleurocerus Ammonite, we've got a split. <laughs> yeah, is it going to be there though? This is the question. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> what a beauty! Yeah, nice. Pleurosa Ammonite. Lovely. Oh, what a split that is. Thank you. Up up the ends back in. Nice. Ah, let's pick this one up. And that's got a Pleurosaurus wearing out on that side. Might try and see if it'll uh, come out or if there's anything other because it's quite worn. You never know. And just to show that there is always the chance of something special, though it might not be uh, the best preserved, that is a whopper of an ammonite. <laughs> That's at least about 16 inches across. Unless it's all worn away. That is a huge beast. Oh, wow, I don't even know what that is. It's a flat one. That's for certain. I don't think I don't think Amalfius get that big, so I don't think it's an Amalfius. I actually have no idea what that is. So yeah, that that has been a beast of an ammonite. It do, does reminiscent of an Amalfius, and in it, with it being flat, but yeah. <laughs> if anybody knows what that is, let me know in the comments, because I certainly don't know. That is a beast. I mean, that, that that must be 16 inches, at least. So yeah, unfortunately, I've got to it a bit too late. But yeah, just goes to show 
there's still monsters to be had. Uh, so again, we're still in the uh, upper plains back in. You can see the remains of one in that one. So yeah, just got to look through the rocks really to see the signs of uh, ammonites. Quite often, pleurocerus uh, ammonites seem to come in clusters. So if you find one wearing out, quite often there might be more in the block. Yeah, it's just looking for the right block. You can see there's loads of shelly nodules around here. But not all of them will have ammonites in. A lot of them just shells, some bellumnites. Uh, yeah, there is a type of type of nodule that I look for that uh, I generally uh, know to give it a tap for a, a more likely result but it's kind of hard to describe <laughs> what they look like it's one of those you know when you see one it's like oh yeah I'm gonna give that a tap To give these a bash though. Now, I do cause up a lot of shrapnel to these nodules. Unfortunately, I have got some eye protection on. Again, it does look just like shells. Extremely hard as well. No, I don't think so in that one. So, just saw this one. A screaming pleuro at me. Split it. Oh, and there we go, it's a double. Oh, it's heavy as well. Ah, it's a double. One there and one there. So I might just try and take a bit of this off but very carefully because yeah double pleuro don't see that every day lovely there's the other bit nice can't be bad yeah, so this is the rugged beauty of the Yorkshire coast pretty much as remote as you can get here very rare you see another soul. But yeah, beautiful. I'm not going to go too much further now, but I think I'll probably have a little look around this corner and then head back. Got a few ammonites in the bag. But uh, yeah, not a bad day so far to say it's the middle of summer. So yeah, I'm going to drop down here, have a little look around, and then uh, start heading back. Oh. <laughs> It's a very heavy bag, and I've just, I've just spotted this. Oh, Elegantisserus cannonball nodule with a dimple. So we're going to have to split that, definitely. Uh, right, find somewhere to split it. Oi. Are we going to be uh, lucky twice? I'm actually half hoping it's going to be empty because uh, this bag's really heavy. That double pleuro nodule is uh, a oh, beastie. Right, here goes. Ready? Missed. Looks like we're an empty one. It's probably worth another tap though, just to make sure. Yeah, empty. Whew, thank goodness for that. Uh, yeah, right, onwards, back to the car. And probably a beer. Well, halfway up the rope, almost back to the top. This bag is really heavy. Those pleurocerus nodules oh, weigh a ton. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you found it interesting. I like to put a bit of stratigraphy in this time. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please 
if you'd like and uh, subscribe to the channel so yeah thanks for watching and if anybody knows what that big ammonite was halfway through the video uh, let me know because I don't have a clue right it's goodbye from me on the beautiful Yorkshire coast next stop is the fossil festival we'll see what's going on there So a quick round up, round up of some of the finds I did drop in at Saltwick, a little drop in at the Fossil Festival. I'll probably go back there tomorrow morning to have a proper look. But yeah, dropped in at Saltwick on the uh, way here, back, and uh, the couple of bits. Look at that lovely Dactylioceros. Quite a nice split on that. Decent bit of matrix and negative. Um, I had uh, this pirateized DAC from there, don't know if that'll come out or not and then I had this lovely Hildy that's just asking for a pop that so I'm very tempted to get a chisel in there but yeah definitely a decent Hildy and a few other little DACs as well uh, and yeah quite a bit of stuff today so loving this uh, Elegantisserus evening sun that's going to turn out lovely bit of oil leaking out of it at the moment but uh, yeah once that's all uh, removed and the centers popped that should be really nice that's a lovely duck is that nice big one lovely uh, what else did we get uh, again I think it's just a, a, a middle of a pleuro, I think that one. Again, nice pleurocerus, really good split. Not bad at all. Kept the negative for that as well. It goes on nicely. Of smaller ones, so yeah, one on each side. I think they're probably small pleuros, but there could be a Malpheus subnosus also. And then get all these out, but yeah, a little Hilde, bit of a Hilde, a little of a middle. Um, probably two different types there, actually. That'll be um, a Bifron's one because it's got the lateral groove, a bit warm to see, like, and that looks more like a Lusitanicum. So these, these came first and these came after. And then, yeah, some little dacks. That one's a lovely little dac, that. All the way around, perfect. And Peronoceros with the spines. Bit of a warm one, but it'll probably have a middle. I'll probably have a play with that with my tools. Uh, there's a little one probably in there. Again, probably my tools, have a play with that. Uh, there's one in there. Don't really know why I took that other than it being quite a fatty. Might have a middle, but yeah, probably a Catacolosaurus or something like that, or Peronoceros, don't know. But yeah, it's not, there's not much of it really. Probably should have left that. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely Dak again, which will be going to Fossil Swede. If you've not checked out his YouTube channel, go check it out. He does uh, fossil hunting in Sweden, surprisingly. Um, some lovely Ordovician. Um, uh, fossils from there, dribbler bites and um, area stuff and yeah the best piece I think will be this which it's a heavy old lump but yeah so we've got not one but two pleurocerus a little bit of damage on this one but um, yeah that needs all prepping out and that'll be a really nice double don't know how big they are yet uh, that could be the uh, yeah could be the mouth border there or it could be mouth border on the other side um, I'm thinking that might be the mouth border of that one don't know where that one is so yeah obviously there could be another world goes all the way around it could be a decent size not too much signs of anything else in that one though but yeah not a bad day's hunting at all really quite pleased with that um, so yeah I'll try and uh, go to the fossil festival uh, in the morning before the next hunt and um, try and do a bit of filming there as well because there's some really nice stuff 
Um, I spent all my time, unfortunately, chatting to people. So there's the Yorkshire fossil hunter there, Mark Kemp. He's got some really nice stuff um, prepped out there um, with a, a nice selection of uh, goodie bags and stuff. Um, Mike Marshall's there with some really, really nice Scunthorpe stuff and um, some really nice Phyloceros and um, Natural Wonders. I've got an amazing selection of fossils from all over really so yeah some really nice um, ones from Madagascar from um, Indonesia there's triblobites there's oh, just loads of stuff um, so yeah um, yeah I've not really had a chance to look at every, anything else so yeah that'll be tomorrow morning's job